Hello, I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin. Bone grafting is a really important part of implant dentistry because having enough bone around an implant is like having enough concrete around a post that holds your house up. So it's certainly important to have the right amount of bone, always extra actually, is, is a good thing because it tends to melt away over time. There are some really neat techniques for bone grafting. The technique and the skill and judgment of bone grafting, it, it's, a, it's an art that's mastered over time. It's not something, it's not about products and what you use and what brand of a bone or if you use your own bone or synthetic bone. It's really about the way that it's done is uh, really is how it's going to become successful long term. Did you know that bone can actually melt away over time? So you can graft the bone back and it actually shrinks over time. Um, so the technique and having this done right the first way is really, really important. I do many different kinds of bone grafts. Sometimes I'm building the bone to be wider because it's too narrow. Sometimes I'm building it to be taller. Sometimes you got to build it to be both, uh, tall and wide. Sometimes it's to fix a dent on the outside part of the jaw so it looks better. And sometimes it happens internally, like inside the sinus where it's a hollow space to place an implant into that you need bone to put into hollow areas. So even though there's different types of bone, your own bone, bone from a tissue donor, it's a human being, bone from a cow, or bone that's completely synthetic, it's the techniques that are used. In fact, I use all of them. Synthetic, not too much at all. Uh, my least favorite doesn't really convert into real bone. Uh, but there's different techniques, about 20 different techniques I do. Some some are um, taking like a titanium tray, we call titanium mesh, to build bone to kind of hold it in place. Some are called block grafts, where I'll take a piece of bone from here or from your chin and transplant it to different areas with screws and membrane techniques. That's called GBR, where a membrane can be exposed or it could be put underneath to help keep the bone in and the gum from growing down inside of it. Most bone grafts can be helped by repositioning the gum to a better better place, kind of borrowing part of the gum from the inside to the outside, or transplanting gum from the roof of the mouth into areas that are deficient because having gum is just as, as important as having bone around an implant, especially for longevity because as you know about 30 percent of what I do is replace failing implants and oftentimes there's just not enough gum around them or not enough bone to begin with. Um, for most patients, the bone grafting is done simultaneously with the implants. On more advanced cases, I'll have to do it beforehand um, as separate procedures. Typically, you're sedated for them, give them some special anti-inflammatory, some steroids, an injection of the shoulder, uh, mixing some of your blood product from your arm. Uh, that's called platelet-rich fibrin in order to make the bone graft heal better. It's really important the, the techniques that are used, how your temporaries are, you know, are you without teeth the whole time? Do you have immediate teeth? What if something presses on it? These are all things that I will go over with you in the many different types of techniques that we do. The most common technique that I do is called a socket, uh, socket graft. That's just removing a tooth and putting bone into the socket. Uh, but again, I see a lot of times where people come to me after failed socket grafts. Uh, to me, you know, the bone should be hopefully a one and done. Um, many people travel to see me and my team from actually around the country, even during COVID, to uh, to build back really extreme amounts of bone loss. Uh, oftentimes, I'm using your own bone and making little sections of it to build back areas uh, that are really extreme bone graft loss. Sometimes I have to move the nerve from one spot to another, take the, it's called the nerve reposition. Uh, there are ridge augmentations, sinus lifts, titanium mesh. Uh, there's just a variety of ways. And it's done at the same time of the implants and sometimes just packed around the implants as well. Uh, there's specialized suturing techniques. Again, the, the bottom line is you want a great tooth that's going to function well um, and not have problems, short-term or long-term infections. Uh, a lot of the things you'll read in my blog, and please visit the blog, there's a lot of information. A lot of people have contributed their questions and their own experiences to what their bone grafting has been like. Um, 
So you can learn more about it by going to the blog and searching in the bone grafting category. There's different things that you can see there to help learn more about the process and the types of grafts. But of course, call the office, make an appointment, happy to see you and to get to know you and help you with your own unique concern, whether it's just one implant to replace or perhaps your whole mouth needs to be um, replaced with dental implants. Thank you so much. Look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.